Okay, Jace, explain what threw up all over our front room. It's called memorabilia. What happens when your dad cleans his house? He brings stuff over, but look at all this stuff. These are letters. This is all stuff from when I was in Japan. This is my journal as a little kid. Bad grammar, even back then. That's where it started. <laughs> Horrible grammar. It's taken me a long time to, fit, to write. I had dyslexia. I have lots of things. So that's uh, your problem now. <laughs> um, I've got a whole thing of trophies because you did sports. I was a winner. <laughs> what is this? Uh, full back, 1980, Ocean View, O'Malley, earthquakes. Okay. He also has some Sports Illustrated. Are you going to sell those or are we just going to throw them no, away? No, I'm throwing away most of them. Okay. Champion. He's a champion. 82-83 Boys Club Basketball. Okay, this is all great. He's going through it. It's driving me crazy that it's all here in the front living room. This one's a big one. Okay, enough. I'm not, we're not opening every single one of these. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Stop. I don't, I, don't I don't really care. Camera's turning off. I know. Okay. Most improved player. You could get that for being a husband, too. <laughs> <laughs> when, am I, when are you going to give me a trophy for most improved husband? When you get there. <laughs> you haven't earned it yet. Uh, so his dad also gives us games that are 40 years old and this is he's adding to this pile um, we also get um, uh, let's see we also get or uh, Christmas ornaments and decorations literally this is from when his parents lived in Alaska so 30 years ago correct 20 at least 25 years ago and then they had them for 10 15 years before that I don't know yes it is I told his dad no Christmas decorations but he brought this anyway so all this is getting donated here, but this stuff, um, he has asked his siblings uh, if they want any of this stuff, and they are all going to take a few ornaments each. I remember d doing these when I was little, too. These are the original Shrinky Dinks, and they were really, really fun. And that is his stocking from when he was a little baby. We will be keeping that, and I don't do nutcrackers at all, so he can give those away to his siblings as well. I am doing my steps. Getting rid of it. Uh, we have a bunch of errands to do today, and Kaylee left her, uh, what do you call it, her financial workbook for math, and so we have to take that to the high school. I tell you, if it ends up on my desk, they will not remember to take it with them, so I'm, get, I'm getting irritated with everyone putting stuff on my desk. I'm like, keep it in your backpack, or put it on your bed, because then you'll remember to take it. So we're gonna run some errands, but we are pending in the next two hours. Sorry, I'm trying to hold you with one hand. Uh, Kaylee's doctor is going to be calling us back with her MRI results, which is mainly the reason why I'm filming today, because otherwise I just need to edit and run errands. And that's not exactly that exciting for you guys, but uh, we will get that result and let you know what it is. My purse is stuck in the dryer and we'll be back with you as we go along through our day. What was that, babe? <laughs> it was a brilliant idea to get the little cozy. His little trunk organizer. I don't think, did you ever show him this? I don't think we did. It's a good little uh, organizer. Keeps things from bouncing around. I got the supplies to make my little drink detox thing. Um, I got carrots there and lemons. I don't know where the lemons are. And then you use apples and water. And I think that's it. I think I need to look it up one more time before I try it. Um, and we're getting apples tomorrow. My apple guy is finally coming tomorrow morning. He has been waiting for his apples to sugar up at night. Um, it hasn't been cold here. We had 90 degree weather here yesterday and Just our nights don't get cold enough. Way. And so he's like, I finally have some. He only has 2,500 pounds. Um, I think we're gonna get 200 pounds. I got jar lids for 50 jars. And we'll see how far that gets us. Uh, so when we go home, we actually need to pull out the jars. Okay. We'll count out 50 jars, and then um, we need to wash them, wash the lids, or the rings. And then... Um, we should wash the jars too. Yeah, we'll wash them all. We just, the lids are non, you don't have to do anything with the lids, you can't reseal them. I'm not gonna do it today, like, or I'm not gonna do applesauce tomorrow, um, cause it's like a multi-person job. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. 
So I'm just gonna. But it's fun. Yeah. If, if we do a video showing it, a oh, lot I will. Of it will be very interesting. I will. And I've done so many videos about apples and applesauce and multiple ways to make applesauce. I will try and make a playlist and put it down below because, or either in this video or in the video when we do the apples, because it is so easy to do. And now my kids don't like any other applesauce besides like fresh homemade applesauce. They like taste store-bought applesauce and they're like, oh, don't not get even this, close. it's not even close. Not even close. They dilute applesauce. It's so bad. Point, that's why the number one ingredient in applesauce is water. water. They have to add it back in, then they add sugar to give it taste again because mm -hmm. they have diluted it so much. We literally don't put anything in no, them. You just and I thought we had to add a bunch of sugar. I mean, I'm, nope. I was like, oh, don't we add sugar? And nope, they <laughs> just you just make it, squish it, squeeze it, whatever. Yep. And pour it in a so jar. So amazing. It is awesome. So amazing. We got to get home. We're gonna go walk Daisy, and then the doctor is calling us in 30 minutes. So. Excellent. Um, I'm calling to check in to see how Kaylee's feeling and how the MRI was tolerated. Oh, she tolerated it fine. Yeah, she did a great job. Okay, good. Oh, good. And getting around okay? She's nice. she's still on her crutches. She's I'm almost completely lost that that range of being able to bend her neck, her knee. She really oh, can't. One more time. She really can't even bend her knee anymore. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, but she's getting around. She's, you know, kind of okay. on pain meds still and... And has started PT or not yet? It was... We're waiting for the MRI? Yeah, waiting for the MRI. The first PT was okay. supposed to be last Friday. So I just waited okay. for this. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, um, she... There is no obvious loose body or things floating around inside her knee. So that's good. Okay. Um, She's got findings that make sense for a knee that had a patellar dislocation. Um, so, you know, she had some, there's some injury to the soft tissues on the inner part of her knee towards her midline, which had to be stretched or pulled or torn a little bit in order for the kneecap to go to the outside. So that makes sense. There, there is a fair bit of bruising on the kneecap, um, and I imagine that that's just really sore. And so when she tries to bend her knee, um, it brings the kneecap up against the end of the thigh bone, the femur, and it hurts, so it's hard to do. Um, there is an area where there has been some injury to the cartilage on the edge of the, of the kneecap. Um, um, but again, there's not there's not a piece that has been knocked off that we can see floating around. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on that over time. There is the potential that that could cause some wear and tear changes. Um, but I did take the liberty to ask my colleague, um, Dr. Nathy, who's a, a sports medicine doc, um, you know, if there was anything that he saw on MRI that said we needed to do something different than what we're doing, which is allowing things to heal and initiating uh, PT. And, and he said no, that there wasn't anything that was an obvious operative indication today. Um, and so I think we are safe to start with PT. My experience is that, um, that bone bruises can be sore for six or eight weeks. So I think she's just seeing some of the discomfort from that kneecap being really bruised. Um, and then we'll plan to see her back in sort of 10 days, two weeks to see how things are moving along. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. So my question with PT, um, yes, I get that that is, you know, obviously that's going to help her be able to like stretch and move her knee. Like yes, her, her yes. boyfriend tried to push on it and it didn't hurt her, but he tried to straighten it out while they were in a hot tub this weekend and uh -huh. literally couldn't even do that like he couldn't bend her knee at all it didn't hurt it just it didn't, move. my husband's here it like yeah. it didn't he couldn't even like bend it like it, he couldn't it, it, he didn't stop because of pain so is that still something that pt is going to help with like i don't know well i mean again we're not seeing anything on the mri that would be a cause of that other than what i will say is while she may not have said oh that hurts it may be that her her body is reflexively holding it from allowing it to bend because it will hurt if it does. Again, it's a little hard to be absolute about, but I can say that on MRI, we're not seeing anything that's holding it into a locked position. So the expectation is, is that we do need to just sort of um, 
see how it goes. I, I agree that it's it's hard to imagine that a hot tub and a um, and a comfortable, concerning person like her boyfriend wouldn't be sort of the optimum conditions for allowing it to bend. If it was going to bend, I hear you for sure. Um, um, but I would say that we're not seeing anything on the MRI that looks to be stuck or in the way. Okay. So I think we just gotta continue to, uh, you know, kind of giving it a try and, and watching it close to see how it evolves. Okay. So the ligaments are looking okay in the... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So that the, the ligaments inside the knee, so the ACL and the PCL are fine, or menisci are fine. Um, it was the kneecap in an isolated fashion that took, that took the injury. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. My office will call and we'll schedule an appointment for 10 days, two weeks. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Uh, bye. -bye. Okay, we got to go and walk the dog, but we're kind of, I don't know, kind of baffled about not needing surgery for Kaylee. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not going to include the entire conversation here. Just, we just kind of reassured with her, like, her boyfriend tries to push on it and literally can't make it bend. And she's not hurting. She yeah. Would, she would, she's not hurting or squinting. So we don't, don't I don't know. We're just tired of getting these medical things where it's all nebulous and... And yeah, I don't know. work on it and figure it out only to find out later that more needs to be done. Well, yeah, anyway. I know, I'm talking I'm about gonna, I'm going to let my dad listen to her findings. I recorded the whole call so my dad can listen to it. I mean, I appreciated that the... You have the key? Yeah, that the doctor um, had another surgeon. Not another surgeon, it was like yeah, a she had sports. another specialist. Another got specialist. It. Look at the results. So, I mean... That's Technically, good. we've had a second opinion, but she does want to follow up in two weeks after PT. So two weeks of PT—that's only like two sessions, right? No, it'll be about four sessions. Oh wow! But that will tell us something. So let's go get the dog. So I just talked to my dad, and he was happy with the news. I mean, I'm happy too. Don't get me wrong. I didn't want my daughter to have to get surgery. Um, side note: the dog wouldn't go for a walk. Uh, she hates the garbage truck and it's garbage day. So she wouldn't go for a walk. I'm trying to find my socks to hop back on the treadmill. Um, yeah, so she refused to leave the house. She refused to go in the backyard. She even like got a treat from, from us when we went out into her backyard. And then she set it down on the doorstep and refused to eat it until we took her back inside. Literally had the dog treat in her mouth, dropped it out. <laughs> Said I want to I want to go inside and eat my treat and not be outside where I can hear garbage trucks. <sighs> Crazy dog. So I guess I guess it's good news uh, that we don't have to do this. Um, don't have to have surgery. That is. And yeah, my dad. He just kind of you know kind of gave more details. He's like physical therapy will help. He said those ligaments are just super tight, and the doctor said that the kneecap just. It didn't hit any cartilage, which is good. There's no broken pieces of cartilage. There's no, you know, it bruised the kneecap and that's what the pain is coming from. And the ligaments have just completely seized up. And the only way to make them get fixed is to start moving them. PT or uh, surgery won't fix that, which is good. So I have to call back the PT place and start scheduling PT. Then I'm going to talk to Kaylee when she gets home so we can start scheduling that. I don't want her to miss school and I want her to be able to do PT and then come home and rest because it's pretty exhausting. But I'm going to get back on the treadmill. I'm at 5,000 steps and we need to get to 10 at least. Yesterday was super, not Super Bowl. Yesterday was a football day and I had chips and dip and a slice of pizza and Coke. So <laughs> we need to get back on that today. <laughs> need to get back on. All right, we came to Target to get a prescription for Kaylee and Jason's dad brought more crap over. We've checked with the family. It's not heirlooms. No one wants it, so we're taking it to Goodwill a second time today. But I, <laughs> Jason's in the next stall trying on a pair of pants. We're at Target. Did I say that? But I found this cute dress. My niece is getting married in a couple, well, like eight weeks. But I need a dress for like the wedding and for winter because I don't really have one. But look how cute that print is. 
gives little Hawaiian vibes for the winter. But check out these pants I got. And you guys, I haven't been, I'm being quiet because I don't want people to hear me, but I haven't been this size in a very long time. And they're cute. Check these out, you guys. Look how cute. Has like a tie right there. And then the bottom I love, whoops, because it's like, a la oh dear, because it's elastic. Love that. And look how cute they are. Like a little, you know, front tuck. And then I like my t-shirts in the back. But they're, usually I have to go up a size. And then there's like tons of extra material right here, but I just have a little bit extra. But they don't like hang baggy. You know what I mean? They just hang well. I don't know. I'm loving it. Let me try on the dress for you. Because I think you guys are going to like this one. I think I'm going to get both of these today. I'm not getting this. This was already here. Ignore the sports bra action going on up here. I'll have the right bra on. But look how cute it is. Right? And it's black. So it's kind of disguising this area. But I'm hoping in the next eight weeks I can kind of cut that part down. And the sleeves. The sleeves are like. Let me show you. The sleeves are elastic, so I can have them down like that, right? But then, because I'm a hot girl, I can roll them up, and it doesn't look bad. It just looks kind of like poofy, right? Jason's, are, do they fit the same? I don't know. What do you think? I think it's cute. It's kind of fun. And Jason has gone with his regular uniform, <laughs> but we know that they... What are they made of? Okay, Kaylee's home. Dramatic effect. What did the doctor say? And she's like, oh no, if you're doing it like this, it must be bad news. I don't know which one is better. What do you want it to be? No surgery. They so said right now, there's, so there's a little bit of cartilage damage. No, there's no cartilage damage. The kneecap is bruised. The kneecap is bruised and there was a slight amount of cartilage damage. No, there's no they cartilage. They say there was some damage. Listen to it again. You, you recorded it. You can't have it without it's, cartilage damage. It's a little bit of it. Anyways, but there's nothing floating around and... You, the ligaments aren't torn. nothing that's obviously torn. Yeah. You have a bruised kneecap or a bruised bone somewhere. And yeah, so, the, bru uh, the kneecap yeah. is bruised. So the PT... Is going to work they, out the strength of that ligament that's not bending. Why? And we told them, we told them about the hot tub and everything, and I think she was like, well... No, know. it's your body, I talked to my dad about it too. He said it's your body resisting that motion. And it's tight. And it's it's completely tight like sucked up. It, but it's also this way. Too. Yeah, correct. Yeah. The ligament works on each side. It just doesn't want to go to the extreme because it's hurting. So your PT is going to be very slow yeah. stretching because it's so tight. Yeah. But she said that we are completely confident. She even... Um, got a second opinion from another surgeon with the MRI, no, and he's definitely that. like, um, oh yeah, take your shoes off. He's definitely like sure that you, PT is definitely the way to go. So I will call and start, start scheduling that. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you